open the project file for the song you are sending to mix. Make sure you're viewing the edit window. This is the default window in Cubase. Now render any tracks with effects you want to print for mix. Solo the track you want to bounce. Ensure that only the plugins you want applied are enabled. Make sure the track is pan center and that its volume is set to 0 dB. Set your left and right locate points. This can be achieved by selecting the appropriate regions with the cursor and pressing P. Now go to File, Export, Audio Mixdown. In the left-hand column, check the box with the name of the track you are exporting. Be sure that the file name in the Export Audio Mixdown window matches the name of the track you are exporting and add the word Bounced at the end of the file name. Verify that the track you are exporting is being saved to the audio file folder within your project file folder. Under File Format, make sure that WAV file is selected. For mono tracks, check Mono Export. For stereo tracks, make sure the box is unchecked. Under Audio Engine Output, make sure the sample rate and bit depth correspond with your project setting located in the bottom left-hand corner of your edit window. In the Import into Project section of the Export window, make sure the Audio Track box is checked. This ensures the track you're exporting comes up as a new track in your project file. Now press Export. Repeat this process for any additional audio tracks that you want to bounce with effects. Bouncing MIDI virtual instruments is achieved the same way. Just solo the track you'd like to export and follow the same instructions. The following example will show how to bounce a MIDI file that is assigned to a VST instrument. Remove all tracks from the project file that are not needed for mixing. Now we'll consolidate all files from the beginning of the project. Before consolidating, confirm all crossfades are free of clicks and pops. Select the Range Selection tool from the toolbar at the top of the screen. Make sure your vertical zoom settings allow you to see all tracks within the project. Go to Edit, Select, All. Your track should be highlighted in green. Zoom to the beginning of the regions and move your mouse until the horizontal black arrow appears. Once you see this arrow, left-click, hold, and drag the green area to zero.
Click the audio menu and choose Bounce Selection. When prompted to replace events, choose Replace. Now minimize Cubase. Within your project file folder, create a new folder. Title that folder with the name of the song and its beats per minute value. Go into the audio file folder and sort by most recently created. Select the files you just bounced. Verify that you have selected the appropriate files by making sure they coincide with the tracks in your project's edit window. Now copy these files and place them within the new folder you've created. Now quit Cubase. When prompted, choose Don't Save Changes. This allows the tracks you remove during mix preparation to be kept for later work. If prompted with the message, you have created new files since the last time you saved the project. Do you want to delete these? Choose No. This will ensure that the new files you created during the bounce will remain in the project's audio folder. To ensure that everything has been properly consolidated, we suggest creating a new project file, importing the files from the folder you've just made, and verifying that the tracks are properly synced and all content for mix is accounted for. Now make a zip archive of the folder. Right-click, then choose Compress. This is the file you'll upload to Matchless Mix.